Hey everybody on YouTube, good morning. This is Rick Thomas from Obsolete Video Services. Today I'm going to answer a question. Uh, I've been getting some emails about uh, my type of cords and plugs that I use for my video equipment. Uh, many people out there know I make my own custom cables for specific units that don't have outputs. So you can do a capture from one video VCR to another or to a capture card or whatever. A lot of this old video equipment does not have user-friendly standard plugs. So you can actually plug into it to capture to like a computer or RCA or something like that. So today, we're going to talk about the CB2200 Skipfield VCR, which is the one we got in front right now. This is a perfect example of video equipment that's not user-friendly for the modern age, as you would call it, or even, even the 70s or the 80s, believe it or not. This was a very unique machine. It's a skip feel machine that has really weird outputs on it. And at the time, they used to come with a television. So you'd be able to record back and forth with the television. They were never designed for you to copy or transfer a tape to like a modern video source. So today, we're going to walk around this unit and show you a few things. As you know, on my Studio A here, I have plugs that takes me into a patch bay. That takes me directly into my time base corrector, my uh, ProRes, or my computer over there. Uh, let me just show you something about this skip field unit. Now, this is a CV skip field unit, and as you can tell, I'm looking at the back of the unit. And as I unplug this, you will see there's no modern plugs on this thing. You got little mini audio plugs, but do you see any video output plugs on this unit? You don't. Because this machine was made in 1967 and it wasn't designed to copy with modern uh, connections to like a, a, you know like an upcate, updated format like Betamax or VHS because it didn't exist. So people ask me how do I copy from a, a CV2200, 2100 skip field machine? Well, I make my own custom cable. So let me explain this to you. As you can see, this is an eight eight. Uh, this is an 8-pin plug, which is the standard EIAJ plug, which plugs into the back of the unit, as you can see. All right? So when you plug it in, there you go. It's plugged in, right? So you got a nice little connection. It's plugged into the unit. I take this cord, and I do a custom, what's called breaker box. See this breaker box right here? Which I made all the outputs, audio output and video outputs, in this one box with two RCAs on the output on the outside which I bridged the audio for left and right uh, on the left and the video on the right so I make an actual breaker box for these units so that way uh, it's very user-friendly pop and play and as you can see it connects to my studio A and you're up and running no hassle no fighting with the machine but this is a very unusual machine because you have to have a special plug or a conversion plug for it. So I just made a breaker box. I had people asking me about that. And I'm actually making one for a client right now who wanted one, who's actually got a few of these machines, I believe. But um, a breaker box is the way you want to go, especially from the CV skip field units, because these units do not have modern video outputs like RCA or BNC. This is before VHS and any video formats were invented. This is like one of the very first um, VCRs or VTRs of the day of 1967. So just to give you guys an idea, I do make my own custom cables for uh, electronics when I do get it, especially very old vintage equipment. I make custom plugs that work for me because when a client comes to me with a special tape, which is what I'm working on now, I'm working on some very special tapes from Los Angeles, and it, they were done on this particular machine. Well, as you can see, I got the machine all set up, ready to go. So, you know, all I had to do was plug in my special cable, get it all feed in. It fed into the actual Studio A BNC outputs for the uh, front panel. And all I got to do is pop the tapes on, and you're off to the races and start copying the tape and making a digital file. Obsolete is all about... Uh, being convenient. Obsolete Video Services is about being automated, simple, to the point, high quality, do it and be done with it. Uh, never 
do what's called jury rigging um, connections on VTR, especially old ones, you're just defeating the purpose. You might cause problems. You might cause an electrical shock. You might burn out the unit. <laughs> you might cross something and make a big mistake. So if you're going to get into vintage video equipment, you need to do custom cables on a lot of older equipment. But some had standard plugs, but there's an awful lot of stuff that did not. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video.